Hey guys. Your first step is going to be opening up your browser, heading over to Google and searching for ADB Fast Boot for the Mac. Click the second link from the top. This is the most up-to-date one that should work with KitKat. Scroll down the web page until you see step one and go ahead and click on that link. The link should take you to DevHost. Go ahead and click the download link that I have highlighted in red. Uh, the other ones are advertisements that will take you to a different web page. After it's done downloading, unzip the file and move it to your desktop. Alright, after you move it to your desktop, go ahead and open that up. You should see the Mac folder. Click that one and rename both those files with an underscore Mac after the name of both files. Make sure to capitalize the M. Go ahead and close that folder and the next step is go to your search bar and search for terminal once your terminal is open you're going to type cd space capital d desktop forward slash capital A Android enter on the next line you're gonna do period forward slash capital A D B dash install with a capital I dash Mac with a capital M dot sh Enter. At this point, it's going to ask for a password. Enter your master password in for your Mac, then press enter. You won't see anything as you type. And if you did everything right, you should see that it moved two files and says, have a nice day at the very end. At this point, we need to do some settings on the phone. So go ahead and grab your phone, turn it on, and head over to settings. And once in settings, scroll to the very bottom until you see about phone. And once in about phone, go down until you see build number. Tap that seven times until it says you're a developer. And you should see a new option called developer options. Go inside developer options and check mark USB debugging and also show touches under input. And then plug in your phone to your computer and head back to terminal. After your computer has recognized your phone, type in ADB space shell space screen record space forward slash SD card forward slash the name that you wish your file to be. I wrote practice.mp4. If you were wanting to put it into the downloads folder, you would write it forward slash SD card forward slash downloads forward slash the name of your recording and after you press enter 
it'll start recording on your phone. At that point, you can demo anything on your phone. And when you're done, hit Control C, enter, and it should stop the recording on your phone. At this whole time, when you're doing a demo on your phone or a screen record, make sure that your phone is plugged in still to the computer as your terminal is giving commands to start and end the recording.